Hey guys, and hello. I have here the question. Special thanks and shout out to Jennifer Neverlands for tagging us to do this fall challenge. So we were assigned 15 questions to answer all about fall, which is kind of Halloween-ish. So it's gonna go into our day three of 31 days of Halloween. First question, what is your favorite Halloween movie? Hocus Pocus. Why is that? Like, Why is, is Hocus favorite? Pocus my favorite? Yeah. Well, it has a talking cat. It's got Bette Midler. And it's got funny witches. I'm just gonna go with Nightmare Before Christmas because I was having a hard time picking one. I will be every person in the world that you're annoyed with right now. Pumpkin or apple pie? That's hard. You can never go wrong with the pumpkin pie. If you make it correctly, you can't go wrong with the pumpkin pie, but there are different variations of apple pie, and I'm picky. Pumpkin pie all the way, but it has to be like 70% um, whipped cream to 100% pie. No. Does it make sense? No, it doesn't make sense. <laughs> all right, Halloween party or Halloween house? And by that, I mean haunted house. Can I choose to not? No. Okay, so I guess if I had to pick one, it'd be a party. I'm not gonna go to a haunted house. Can I run the haunted house? I think you have to go to one. Oh. Well, I get sad at parties, so I'm gonna pick the haunted house. Next one, store-bought pumpkin or pumpkin patch? I've never been to a pumpkin patch because I grew up in Florida. Yeah, I never had actual pumpkin. So I'm gonna store-bought. I think the camera just shook because Giselle walked over it. Yeah, it wasn't a ghost. Or was it? We're off topic. We were. I was gonna try to make this video a straight through video with no editing. We're but not good at staying on topic. No, we're like, woo, squirrel. <laughs> All right, next question. Favorite fall scent? I guess we have apple cinnamon candles. Oh, that's what I was gonna say too, like apple cider. Apple cinnamon. Oh, but bonfire scent. I've never smelled that. you never smelled a bonfire? That smells nice. Favorite fall drink? Apple cider. I'm torn between apple cider and um, chai latte. But you can have a chai latte any time of the year. You can have apple cider any time of the year. Touche. <laughs> Halloween or Thanksgiving? I like Thanksgiving because I like eating all the food. <laughs> and they got stuffing and pumpkin pie and turkey, unless you go to my house and it's ham. <laughs> So incredibly un-American. I am definitely Halloween all the way. No questions asked. All right, most loved pumpkin-based food. Pumpkin pie. <laughs> oh, I guess. Mine is pumpkin butter. My grandma makes her chicken noodle soup with pumpkin in it. Uh huh. It's really good. Do you like that more than pumpkin pie? I don't taste the pumpkin. Then why do you even mention I'm it? I'm just saying because she puts calabaza in it because her recipe says calabaza. What's that? Pumpkin. Oh. I took seven years of Spanish. <laughs> Would you rather go on a corn maze or a haunted hayride? Um, a corn maze during the daytime. Mm. <laughs> I'm very specific. See, I watch signs, so I know better. So I'll take that haunted hayride even if it's boring. Ah. Uh... Favorite Halloween candy? That one's hard. Can I pick two? No. Because like a fruit and a chocolate candy are very different and that's not fair. Fine. Okay, so fruit candy would be the Lifesaver gummies. I love those. And then regular candy, probably the Reese's pumpkins. Mm -hmm. I like those. Yeah, I'm totally torn between the Reese's pumpkins. It has to be the pumpkin one because if it's just a normal Reese's, there's not enough peanut butter to chocolate ratio. And a Twix bar. It used to be Butterfinger, and then you done <laughs> up Butterfinger. You messed up the recipe. Now it tastes too much like peanut butter. It's disgusting. All right, next question is favorite childhood fall memory. Um, I think I was like eight or nine, and I had gone trick or treating, and my grandpa, like, grandma, grandma had gotten off, and grandpa didn't and want the kids to off at, like, ring the doorbell, so he dressed up like a creepy clown bum. 
and he sat in his little lawn chair at the end of the driveway to give out candy, but he looked so creepy that no one came to get candy from him. He said that kids were like going on the other side of the street even though he was like, candy? And something that's funny is that there's no house on the other side of the street from her house. It's like a golf course. My dad did something similar. He's dressed up like the Grim Reaper. That's and he's not similar. It, I mean, it's kind of similar, but he had like these giant pixie sticks that were like this long, probably longer than this. They were huge. They were like two the, feet long. Oh, the two foot pixie sticks? Yeah, two foot or three foot. I don't know. Um... And he would like listen for a kid's names and he'd hear them going across the street and be like, Hey Timothy, come over here. Timothy would be like, oh my god, no. Well, Grandpa was just thinking he was being nice. I think my favorite fall memory that I remember is that I went through a haunted school bus graveyard. Um, and it's like it was one of those ones where they set up the actors and stuff. And I got so scared during it because one of them jumped out at me that I fell into the corner and I started sobbing and I curled up I like squatted down and I was just sobbing and this like, I think it was a clown and he came up to me he's like, Hey, you have to keep going. And I was just like, no! And my friends didn't even notice so thank you Heather, thank you for not <laughs> noticing. I think I got out of there and they're like, where were you? So I don't go out of my way to go to creepy haunted things, even if they are fake. I'm not going to do that because I would probably get a lawsuit. I, I'm going to punch you yeah, if you funny. scare me. Every time I come around the corner and scare her, she's like, <laughs> I'm like, oh, okay. <laughs> this is really not going well. We are taking way too long. Um, next question is favorite Thanksgiving food. Mashed potatoes. Stuffing. Oh, or yams. No, stuffing with like the celery cut up and the onions in it. Oh, that sounds nice. Yeah, like not just pull it out of the box and put water in it and you're done. You have to cut those celeries and junk in it. And stick some chicken stock in there or something. But I do make some good yams. She does make really good yams. They're not healthy for you at all. Oh, no. You'll gain no. 10 pounds just from one serving of yams. Yeah, I think when I brought them to my uncle's house, everyone was like, is this candy? <laughs> Next. All right, next up is sweater or scarf. I don't like scarves, so sweater. I'm definitely a scarf girl. I will scarf it up. Wool socks or slippers? Slippers. Yeah. Who wears wool socks? And favorite fall tradition? Halloween. Duh. Seeing how much leftover candy you have from the trick or treaters. Yeah, specifically when before the trick-or-treaters come you go and you pick out your favorite candy out of there So that you give away all the nasty candy first and then if there's more kids then you're like oh, Fine, here's good candy. God. So those are 15 fall related questions that we were tagged to share with you guys Now we are gonna tag more people first up You know her you love her. She travels the world destination storm We tag you the next one is our other world travelers, our life speed three, who by the way are about to move and backpack across New Zealand. So be sure to check in on them. So I'm not sure if they'll see this, but if you guys see it, then we're tagging you guys leg life because I honestly want to know these questions. <laughs> then we have the very adorable, very fun and very unhealthy food addictive videos that I have been following like crazy Perkins like four. You're up. And then finally, last but not least, an up and coming YouTuber who has amazing drawings and amazing videos to share, Just Shakers. So we will link everyone down below if you wanna go check out their channels. And we hope, we can't wait to see everyone's responses to this. So hopefully they're a lot funnier than ours. Yeah, if you guys wanna see uh, Jinnabelle Neverland's response, it was really funny. I really enjoyed the Wool socks or slippers? It's 90 degrees! <laughs> well, thanks for joining us. Please continue to check back for the rest of our 31 days of Halloween. I'm working really hard on this, so please, please come back. As always, stay safe, stay happy, most importantly, stay you. We will see you guys again next time, and until then, we hope you have a magically wonderful day. Bye. Bye.